Welcome! In this video, I will show you the top 15 realistic games for Android and iOS in 2024. These games have amazing graphics, immersive gameplay, and realistic physics that will make you feel like you are in the game world. Whether you like racing, shooting, or adventure, there is a game for you in this list. So, without further ado, let's get started with the countdown. Number 15. Adventurers Mobile blends exploration with some serious agility challenges. Think of it as a mobile version of Tomb Raider or Uncharted, packed with hidden treasures and maybe even a thrilling boss battle or two. If you love the adrenaline rush of uncovering secrets and outsmarting ancient dangers, Adventurers Mobile might just be your next mobile obsession. Before we move on the list, I want to mention another realistic game. One State RP takes the open world concept of GTA and adds a unique twist, massive servers with up to 500 players role playing together. In one state, you can be anyone, a cop, a gangster, a business owner, or a regular citizen. The choice is entirely yours. I've spent a decent amount of time exploring the different roles and the open world, and it's been a surprisingly fun experience. The graphics are pretty good for a mobile game, and the gameplay is engaging enough to keep you coming back for more. Running on 60 FPS with ultra settings, one state offers a console-like experience right on your mobile device. And here's the best part, download one state using the link in my description and use my special promo code. Not only will you get to join this incredible game, but you'll also get some cool bonuses to start your journey. So what are you waiting for? Join me in one state, create your story, and let's make our mark on this virtual Los Angeles. Remember, use the link below and my promo code to get started. Number 14. Bum, 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 Playing Bugsnax on my phone was a lot of fun. The graphics were colorful and looked pretty good for a mobile game. It was cool to see all the different Bugsnax and figure out how to catch them. There's a good amount of content to keep you busy, even without the multiplayer features. Number 13. <laughs> While zombie games are a dime a dozen, Lost Future immediately stood out to me because of its graphics and animations. The post-apocalyptic world feels detailed and immersive, especially for a mobile game. If you're a player drawn to games with strong visuals and a focus on atmosphere, Lost Future is worth checking out. Number 12. At first, I was a bit unsure about Star Wars Hunters. It seemed simple, but the more I played, the more fun it became. The graphics are quite impressive for a mobile game with detailed character models and colorful arenas. I especially love how each character has unique abilities that can change the game. Playing with friends makes it even better. Number 11. Breakfast Mobile is great racing game for mobile devices. I love how the cars crunch and smash when you crash, and the damage looks super realistic. The graphics are really good for a mobile game. There are tons of different events to try, from demolition derbies to races. Honestly, if you're into car crashes and crazy races, you gotta check out Breakfast Mobile. It's seriously addictive. Number 10. Undawn is about surviving in a world after everything has changed. Zombies are everywhere, and you have to be brave and smart to stay alive. You find things to use, build safe places, and work with other players. The game is exciting and a little scary. You have to make good choices to survive. Undawn is for those who like adventures and challenges, and who want to see if they can make it in a tough world. Number 9. Firefront felt a lot like Battlefield for your phone. It was fun to play with different guns and vehicles, just like in Battlefield. But I think the game needs some work. It was hard to move and shoot at the same time. Overall, Firefront could be a lot of fun, especially if you like Battlefield. But it needs to be easier to play, the guns need to look more real, and the game needs to run better. Number 8. Number 8. 
Car X Street is a fun mobile racing game. I like that I can drive around in a big open world and the cars look really cool. But it takes a long time to get good cars unless you want to spend real money. Also, the races can start to feel the same after you've played for a while. Overall, it's a good game if you just want to race around for a bit. But I wish there was more to do. Number 7 Aerofleet FS Global is a pretty fight sim for your phone. The planes and places look realistic, and it's fun to fly around and see different parts of the world. I like trying out all the different planes. At first it's really fun to fly around, but it gets boring after a while because there aren't any missions or goals. So, it's good if you just want to look around and fly, but not if you want more to do. Number 6 Playing Fortnite on my phone is a fun way to pass the time. The graphics look really good, almost like I'm playing on a console or computer. I like that there are always new things to do in Fortnite. Sometimes, there are special events, like concerts or even stories that happen in the game. One thing that's really cool is that you can make your own maps and play on maps that other people have made. The only downside is that the game is not available through official app stores, requiring players to download it directly from the Epic Games website. Number 5 Gear Club Stratale is an exclusive game for Apple Arcade and a fun surprise for car lovers. The Tuscan scenery is beautiful, and the cars are amazing. The club feature is great if you like to play with friends. You can share cars with each other, and it's fun to work on challenges together. Gear Club Stratale is a good-looking and enjoyable game that any car enthusiast on Apple Arcade should check out. Number 4 Mad Out 2 is a game that lets you explore a vast open world, complete missions, and interact with other players online. If you like GTA-style games, you might want to check this one out. The game has both single-player and multiplayer modes. Overall, Mad Out 2 is a fun and addictive game, if you don't mind the flaws. It offers a lot of freedom and variety, and it can be very entertaining to play with other players online. Number 3 Wuthering Waves is a game that looks really good. The fighting is fast and fun, and I spent a lot of time exploring the world and doing quests. The story was interesting and made me want to play more. I liked playing with my friends. We went into dungeons and fought big monsters together. If you like action games with a big world to explore, you should try Wuthering Waves. Number 2 Delta Force Mobile is upcoming FPS game for Android and iOS devices. Delta Force Mobile is currently have alpha test. From what I've seen, the graphics look stunning, and the gameplay seems to capture that classic Delta Force, Battlefield feel. The different game modes look like a lot of fun, especially the large-scale ones with vehicles. Overall, I'm really excited to see how Delta Force Mobile develops before its official release. It definitely has the potential to be a top-tier mobile shooter. Number 1 Playing Assassin's Creed on my phone has been a great experience. The graphics and gameplay are amazing, and it feels like a true Assassin's Creed experience even on a smaller screen. Exploring Baghdad and using Basim skills have been a lot of fun. The fact that it's currently only available on iOS is also a bit of a bummer for Android users like myself. I'm hoping to see an Android version release soon so more people can experience it. And there we have it, the top 15 realistic games for mobile devices in 2024. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and share your thoughts and favorites in the comments below. Your support means the world to us, and it helps us keep bringing you the best in mobile gaming. Stay tuned for more videos. See you soon.